Namaste to all. Welcome to Lively Home Style. Here I am sharing Hyderabadi style kachi chicken dum biryani recipe. This recipe is shared by my friend who is a biryani expert and for the first time I am trying this out. So let's get started. Here I am storing some green chili and mint leaves. So firstly slicing the onions for fried onion. Back to onion, slice it evenly and thinly. I have added little ghee to the oil. Once it's hot, add onions and fry till golden and set aside. Let's grind the spice powders. Crushing some peppercorns. Now grinding the garam masala for biryani. You can grind it in large quantity and store it as well. But I am preparing it fresh and as it is less I am using mortar and pestle. Now let's marinate the chicken. Add all the ingredients mentioned for the marination and coat the chicken very well. Add 3 4th portion of fresh ground garam masala to the marination and rest 1 4th portion we will be using later while layering biryani. Crush fried onions and mix. Totally I have used 3 big onions, have kept 1 4th portion of it for layering. Soak rice for 2 hours. Now keep water for boiling. I have taken around 8 to 9 cups of water for 2.5 cups of rice. Add all the ingredients and let it boil. Actually I forgot to add shaya jeera here but you don't miss it. Now the rice is cooked almost 75%. Turn off the flame and immediately we'll start layering. I am using a pressure cooker for layering. Adding little oil which I used for fried onions and little ghee. Place the marinated chicken pieces. Sprinkle some mint and coriander leaves. Add rice. Add directly, it should have some water content in it. As a top layer, sprinkle leftover garam masala, spread fried onions, few mint and coriander leaves, lemon juice and ghee. Cover and cook on them. Here I am placing another cooker filled with hot rice water. Keep the flame on high for 5 minutes and then on sim for 30 minutes. As steam was escaping from the gap, I sealed it with dough. If you are using a proper biryani vessel with a perfect lid, you don't have to seal it also. After 30 minutes, check at the bottom. 
If it is still watery, then cook for some more time or else it's done. I kept for 35 to 40 minutes so the bottom was slightly charred, hence the gravy was little less. But the taste was really good and I would say it was 90% successful. Chicken was very soft and flavorful and the aroma and taste of biryani was wonderful. Thank you so much Razia for this simple and amazing recipe. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos or recipes in the future.